come all the way back. I think they can. The question is, can they make good decisions? Because now you're talking about with Johnson and Turner, two freshmen, neither really a true point guard, that will have to figure out a way to make sure everybody stays involved and active on the offensive side. Seven minutes remaining. Here in Seattle, this is Josiah Turner. Out of Perry. Harris clogging up the baseline. Shot clock at one. Johnson doesn't recognize and they turn it over. And that's an example right there, what we're talking about. A, a point guard, a natural point guard understands. Remember, we're coming out of a timeout. So you have to have that clock in your head. At the very least, get that opportunity at a shot, which gives you a chance maybe at an offensive rebound. Seventh turnover committed by the Wildcats. Some light full court press by Sean Miller's Arizona side. Johnson, press defense on Pangos. This is Mike Hart. Out of Bell. Sacre double team had it deflected. Harris has it off balance, and why not? Just always in the right spot in this game. Elias Harris coming up with the loose ball and the finish. Season high, 23 points. Turner, meantime, continues to struggle. And here come the Bulldogs. And that's not the shot you want right there. So two possessions out of that timeout for Arizona. They get a shot clock violation and poor decision with the three-point shot. Turner now two for six. Pangos. Well, feeding the big fella, Sacre. That has gone his back. Stepping middle, and it's an offensive foul on Sacre. They say that he cleared out with his off arm, and it belongs to the Wildcats. A little frustrated there by the big fella. He definitely led with that right elbow. Picking up his second foul. Sean Miller pumping guys in and out. Perry and Turner take a seat. Jordan Mays and Solomon Hill back in. Spiro Vitas, Greg Anthony, our entire CBS crew from Seattle. 5.39 remaining. And Arizona down 12 points. Fog around the screen, pump faking. 10-point game. And that's an example right there. Again, great offensive execution, bringing him off that pin down, and then the delivery by Johnson in rhythm. So 12 points for Kyle Fogg, the senior. With 5.16 remaining. Fox said he took 40,000 jump shots during the offseason. And that hard work is starting to pay off. Bell bounces down low to Sock right nine to shoot. This has been a different defensive team for Zone in the second half. Sock right everything but the finish. Harris tips it in. Wow, I tell you what, everything you wanted there defensively for Arizona, they forced a tough shot there by Sakri, but unable to keep Harris off the backboard. 25 points, 8 rebounds for Harris, and it's 59-47. Fox stopping, getting his track short, rebound Sakri. Well thought about it, and now Gonzaga, Gonzaga will run that clock. Hart against Mays. Now Pangos. Gonzaga, such an intelligent team using all 35 of those seconds. Pangos. A picture perfect possession for Mark Hughes Bulldogs. Free throws up coming. Take a look at Sacre here. Beautiful footwork. Unable to get the finish, though, but there's Harris just keeping it alive. How quick he was on that second step. Second jump, I should say. And just a terrific basketball game he's played here for Gonzaga. Pango, six points, six assists in this game. Kyle Nadiasco will sit. Picked up his fourth foul. Jesse Perry back in. As Arizona now running out of time, four minutes left, down 12 points. And if you're Arizona, it's one of those games they really have not done 
much of anything as well as they're capable of. Yet you look up, they're still there. They're fighting. They're competing. So that's something positive if you're Sean Miller you can take with this young basketball team as they start preparing for conference play. Pangos hits the second, makes it a 13-point game. Jordan Mays straight away three. Arizona just will not go away. 10-point deficit now. Seven for Mays. As we will get a timeout here in Seattle. 344 remaining. New Year's Eve action for you. Our game reset here. Sean Miller taking his final timeout a moment ago. His team down 10 and trailed Greg by as many as 20. And he didn't really have a choice in terms of the timeouts. Remember that way the game started 14-2 early on. This thing was getting out of hand. He did a good job of just managing the game to give his team an opportunity to where we are here, 344, down 10. There's enough time, and their defense has definitely improved here in the second half. Can they procure the backboard on the second shot? A five-second violation on Mike Hart. Suffocating full court press from Arizona. So both teams back to their benches. Arizona still showing life here in Seattle. Game reset here. Sean Miller in Arizona down 10. They're out of timeouts. 3.44 remaining. It will be Arizona inbounding with a fresh 35 second shot clock. Critical possession, obviously, here. And not necessarily just to score the Arizona. It's more important that you execute and get a good look. That'll keep your confidence up and keep the intensity on the defensive side. Arizona using an 8-0 run to get back into it earlier in the half. Nice up and under reverse play by Jordan Mays. It's an eight-point game. You know, that's a great feeling for Sean Miller, for his kids to come out of that timeout and execute that play flawlessly here with the pressure on. Nine points for the sophomore from Los Angeles. This is Kevin Pangos, the freshman. We come up on three minutes remaining. Bell. Pangos attacking, blocked by Hill. Knocked out of bounds, and it will be Arizona basketball. How about the effort here? Now, Solomon Hill does enough just to not allow him to turn the corner, uses his size to come up with the block shot. Crowd slowly standing, 250 remaining at eight point. Gonzaga lead, Johnson. Solomon Hill the rebound and a foul. Arizona can get to within six. Not the shot you saw Sean Miller after Nick Johnson took that shot. Didn't really want that one, but credit Solomon Hill. How about the last two possessions? Defensively, he comes up with the big block shot, and then offensively, Johnny on the spot to get that offensive rebound and a chance at two free throws, stopping the clock here for Arizona. Hill hit some huge free throws late in Gainesville to push that game to overtime. Gets the first one here. It's a seven-point deficit now. Closest Arizona has been since the 16-41 mark of the first half. And Spiro, this is character time. As a coach, this is what you really work for, to put your team in situations like this, to see how they respond when things get tight. Sean Miller will trade offense for defense now. Not Yasko in for Hill. Gonzaga 60, Arizona 54. Mark Few going with two point guards here down the stretch. Three guard lineup to try and handle that pressure of Arizona. Seven straight for the Wildcats. Again, keep in mind, Arizona has no timeouts left. Stockton. Beautiful set up for Sacre. Wow, I love the execution, the pick and roll. Beautiful delivery by the freshman to the senior for the finish. Big basket for Gonzaga. Eight point game. Johnson. The freshman dialing it up a long two. He's got seven, and it's a six point game.
Minute 50 remaining. Well, you can sense the restlessness here. Sellout crowd, obviously, pro Gonzaga. Jesse Perry called for the block way out in the front court. And how about Kevin Pagels here? Comes off. Look at the hesitation and beautiful delivery there. In stride again, about hitting him on rhythm. And then here, a little hip hugger by Jesse Perry. So this will be a one and one, a minute 40 remaining. Ninth team foul against Arizona. And Tango's an 85% free throw shooter. And, and really impressed with his poise. Hadn't shot it well here in this basketball game. One of eight up to this point. But he does have the seven assists, only one turnover. One of nine, I should say. And that's really what you want. There are going to be nights when you don't shoot it well, but you still have to continue to execute and give your team quality possessions down the stretch. But what about his demeanor? Nothing mm. about this kid tells you he's a freshman. Well, I tell you, the experience he had playing up in Canada on the national team, you know, playing with older players, it prepares you for this moment. He is definitely not afraid. Turner setting up Mays short for the three rebound Pangos. Minute 25 remaining. And Zaga with possession and an eight point lead. Solomon Hill reaches in, and this will be a two shot foul on the 10th team foul against the Wildcats. Thursday on CBS, what if he could stop a crime before it happens? These two heroes can. Emmy winner Michael Emerson and Jim Caviezel star in the new hit drama, Person of Interest. Thursday, only CBS. Gonzaga trying to push its record to 7-2. and two. Looking to make it two straight after they had lost a couple in a row. Trying to stave off this pesky team from Tucson. Late stages, second half. 10-team fouls on Arizona. They're out of timeouts and down eight with a minute 21 to play. Two free throws coming up for Gonzaga. And I'm impressed, really impressed with Pangos and Stockton down the stretch. You know, this is where, as a coach, you're really trying to get that, that trust of your team, and he's getting it. Pangos hadn't shot it well, as we talked about. Seven assists, only one turnover. Executing the offense flawlessly. Handling the pressure of Arizona, because they had upped it from an intensity standpoint, but Gonzaga continues to execute for the most part here down the stretch. Now the lineage of great point guards out of this program, no secret. And of course he misses the free throw. Well, this kid could very well be the next one. Again, not a great shooting day as Greg pointed out, but has been such a floor leader today in the entire season as he misses both free throws and a loose ball foul against Gonzaga. Yeah, you stop the clock there and it's hard to fault the effort of Harris here because as a as a rebounder you're always trying to go after the basketball but credit Arizona there with good positioning in terms of blocking out and wow stopping the clock here Nick Johnson with a chance to make this a two possession game which means now you don't have to foul one and one hits the first Johnson is 69 percent free throw shooter he's got a dozen today Spiro, it's important too for Arizona if he can make this because you're already in the double bonus. You don't want to have to foul and with a minute 20, plenty of time to just play the defense and try to come up with the stop. Johnson hits the second. It's a six point game. Minute 19 remaining, Sacre bottled up by Perry. Turns and will take a timeout. Oh, these fans having to sweat this one out of buck 15 remaining in a six-point game. Game reset, Arizona down six minute 15 to play. Sean Miller, no timeouts. He is <laughs> coaching, though, without the opportunity to get the timeouts. He's been fortunate. You get the two missed free throws when you're in the double bonus by Gonzaga. And his team is starting to really bring it. He talked about it at halftime, the effort lacking. You know, Gonzaga clearly the more intense team. Not the case here in the second half. The Cats have definitely brought it. Couple of young teams today, both laden with underclassmen stars. 
Sacre to stock it up to Pangos. He's got real estate. Harris inside. Boy, it's been his day.